فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير إن الذين يحبون أن تشيع الفاحشة في الذين آمنوا لهم عذاب أليم في الدنيا والآخرة والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون Those who love to spread tales of immorality So we, not, we like to spread juicy tales of immorality Whether it is true or not at, In this verse is besides the point The fact is we want to spread juicy tales Nowadays we do it via WhatsApp and via BBM and via everything else and via Facebook and Twitter we spread tales juicy details of immoral stories whether they are true or not Allah says they will they will face a punishment in the dunya and then in the akhirah why what's your crime the crime is all you did was you just forwarded a message that's all you did and Allah says lahum adabun alimun a painful punishment in the dunya and the akhirah. Didn't I tell you moments ago, you are in pain of some sort? Ask yourself, did I accuse people? Did I spread tales of immorality? Was I happy to spread a dirty tale amongst my friends? If that's the case, tubu ilallah. Turn to Allah. Ask Allah's forgiveness. You will save yourself from this painful punishment that Allah is talking about. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu ya'lam wa antum la ta'lamun. You Allah knows and you don't know. Allah is the knower of all. So be careful, do not spread things amongst the believers. Do you know one of the reasons why you start encouraging people to do that which is bad? You know, a man spreads details to say, Oh, do you know what I did? I did this and I did that, and this is how I did it, and this is how nice it was. I went to the club and I did this and I had this and I whatever. Why are you giving people details of your own sin? For what? People might be encouraged by your action. So even if you are forgiven for your action, you have now resulted or your statements have resulted in them learning from you after you taught them. And this is why you will be earning a punishment even after you've died. Do you know how? Because the hadith says, مَنْ سَنَّ سُنَّةً سَيِّئَةً فَلَهُ وِزْرُهَا وَوِزْرُ مَنْ عَمِلَ بِهَا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Whoever sets a bad example, people are doing bad because of you. You taught them. You were the inspirer. You were the one who started off the bad. So what, what you would need to know is, whoever follows that bad example, you are getting the evil of it even after you've died up to the day of Qiyamah. Why would we allow that to happen to us? May Allah use us for the opposite, inshallah. May He use us for that which is good, so that people can be inspired to do good because we did it or we taught them or we spoke about it. I mean, so we have this verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us to say, severe punishment awaiting those who want to utter words. You know, when I read the newspapers, and they tell you the robbers have attacked this place and this is how they had the dynamite and this is how they blew up the door and this is how they went in this is how they opened the safe and this is what they did and i'm busy thinking you know the journalists think they're doing a good job but they're teaching people who are innocent how to steal and sometimes youngsters will look at themselves and say guys that was quite easy he went away with a million dinars i'm sure we can get away with five hundred thousand it's so simple you just got to go and put in a paper clip and you'll open the door who taught you well i read the newspaper so this is one of the reasons why this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to spread details of this nature amongst the believers is actually a crime and it is sinful. You don't do it because you're encouraging people to do bad. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. And the third thing known as Sadaqatun Jariyah, a charitable deed that they have given or a charity they have given, a charitable deed they have engaged in, which continues 